Do you remember back a few videos where I showed you we made that round uh, circle on the uh, piece of cardboard and we had another white cardboard cut out and we had the actual steel hold down anchor? Let me show you why we had to do that. And it's going to be kind of interesting looking at it from this, uh, you know, from this uh, perspective. Look at this. So here we have this uh, pier at the corner. And look at what I've done here. See this nail? And there's a piece of string that goes all the way down, all the way to the other corner. You, you know, you can barely see that. But I took some measurements off of that cardboard template and I determined that from the corner of the 2x4 here to, uh, to the center line, to the center hole of the hold down anchor, in my situation it was 6 and 7 eighths inches. So I drove a nail in 6 and 7 eighths from this corner and then I went down to all the way to the end and I did the same thing down there. And then I strung this line. Then what I did is I'll try to jump down here. Let's 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 go down here into the hole and I'll show you something I did. Okay, using a two foot level, I touched the level, you know, against the string just like this. And then I once I had it plumb, you know, like it is right now, and you touch the uh, you know, you can see here maybe that it's plumb. Well, I made a black mark down there. I'll try to get closer so you can see it. And then I did the same thing right here at this edge of the form. Now what that black line is going to, you connect the dots with those two black lines with, with a level. And that's where the anchor bolt needs to go. It needs, that's basically I've created a line here. And after we fill this with concrete, we're going to use those black marks um, so that we, uh, so that we get the anchor bolt in the right spot. Now here's a little trick. I went in, as we're filling it with concrete, this black line right here, it may disappear. You know, it, who knows what could happen. So I went ahead and I made a mark down on the side of the form and I did that on both sides. So you gotta really think ahead because the last thing you wanna have happen to you when you're pouring concrete is that you lose those black lines. So I'll go along, all the piers do the same thing, make those lines so I know exactly where to put the anchor bolts. And uh, believe me, when we go to assemble the, um, the floor here in a couple of days, uh, I gotta tell you, uh, it's all gonna work perfectly. It's, it's so cool when that happens. If you just think ahead, actually draw it out, take some measurements. You can get perfection like that each time on your job. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.